Today's video, I'm going to be breaking down one of the really unique new ways to run the dollar defensive meta. This was really effective, and uh, you can actually utilize an audible trick to kind of give you some other versatility, which we're going to talk about as the video goes on. The biggest thing I want you to do first is get the Chiefs playbook, load into practice mode, and then here's your coaching adjustments that I'm going to recommend. Auto flip defensive play call is going to be off. Auto alignment is going to be on base. And then if you want to, I recommend a 25 or 30 yard flat zone and a five yard curl flat zone. If you want to have a five yard hook curl, be my guess. But in general for this defense, that's kind of the methods uh, that we're going to be utilizing and employing. For the audibles of this defense, we're going to have DB fire two, spinner, free safety zone blitz, and cover three cloud show two. Now the first audible that you could not use or that you, you don't have to use here is free safety zone blitz. Free safety zone blitz is a nice play, but you don't have to have it because we are going to be coming out in the double safety blitz play. Now the reason we're going to be coming out in the double safety blitz play, it's very similar to the free safety zone blitz. It just simply has the right side safety also blitzing as well as the play being a man coverage base, which we're going to get into, you know, why this is helpful because it's going to bring the safeties into the box. So what we can do with this defense is we're just going to come out and double safety go. And this is one of the more underrated ways, in my opinion, to run the defense. And it's a very simple way, especially if you're playing head to head. So what you can do with this is you're just going to come out and double safety go. Now, as you can see, it's going to walk them down. I want you to just take a look at these blitz angles right here. Now, the easiest, most simple method for running this defense would be to take this safety on the right side and man him up on the tight end. And then basically just blitz your user. If you want to contain, go for it. And essentially just play a, a cover zero five-man pressure. You're going to get this pressure pretty consistently through that B gap. And that is going to require specific adjustments from your opponent to have to that they're going to have to do. So another thing that I really like would be to take this and kind of create almost like a makeshift scissor adjustment where that outside cornerback is manned up on the tight end. So if they think, oh, I've got the flat, and then they throw it, and this guy's kind of rolling into a really – kind of disguise look of a coverage. Now, the other thing that you can do from this look, because now we have a blitz, again, blitzing is kind of the centerpiece of defense. Every defensive formation you run needs to be able to blitz from this. Then what you can do is create different coverages behind it. So you don't have to run man coverage. You can go ahead and essentially roll this into a cover three coverage. As you can see right here, this looks very similar to free safety zone blitz, right? But now we're, we've done it out of the man to man look. And as you can see, we're still getting the same basic pressure. Another really cool thing that you can do is you just come out, you're just going to quick adjust, and basically that's going to mean that you're going to do this right here, and you're going to craft a double Mabel coverage, and then you're only going to send three. Now the one thing or one little caveat or the one thing that I think is really uh, significant and important to note is you don't want to be pinching your line if you're trying to have this free safety zone, zone blitz look. What do I mean by that? If I pinch my defensive line, then even if I do blitz the safety on the left-hand side, it's not as effective as, as you can see, they, they take a while to back up, right? There's a lot that happens kind of, and even if I were to send this five-man pressure, you'll see that this blitz can sometimes get caught up. There we got the A-gap. We don't always do that. A simpler way to do that if we wanted to pinch the defensive line would be to audible to really any other play. For example, we can audible to cover three cloud show two. We're going to blitz our user, pinch our D-line, crash down, and then all you have to do to kind of complete the Mabel look here to the right side is just drop that slot corner in a curl flat, and then you're going to basically be the hook curl defender to the right. As you can see, this is a really effective way uh, to be able to play defense in this game. So that's one of the one of the methods. Another one that I actually really like out of Cover the Cloud that I don't think gets enough shine from a coverage perspective is you can purple this guy right here, and then you can go actually ahead and middle third the linebacker on the left, deep half the safety on the left, and then cloud. You're going to have a cover two Mabel on both sides, and then you have a third to the wide sides. This is a really good way to combat some of those super deep double corner concepts, and you just have to make sure that you're really good in the middle of the field. Another thing I wanted to say real quick is if you want to run that same coverage, you don't have to pinch your D-line. So let's say I just want to send three. I could do the defense like this right here, and now I'm still in a drop eight coverage. But this also looks very similar or identical to the five-man pressure that I was showing you out of the play double safety blitz. This also, if you wanted to, this is why we put in the audibles, 
this also looks identical to the free safety zone blitz. So if I audible to free safety zone blitz and all I, I'm not going to move, nothing changes. Remember those curl flats are on five yards. So they're going to bite down on those quick flats. And then as you can see there, we're able to get our nice pressure. This is a really nice, fun little way to, to use the dollar defense to be able to describe what to be able to disguise what you're doing. And again, you can occasionally mix in DB fire two. If you do mix in DB fire two, I'd recommend go ahead and put your zone drops back on default. So those flats don't play so far back or if you want to go to db fire two and then you want to leave these guys spread then you can just put these two purples out here and now you have a really nice little drop eight coverage that is super super difficult uh, to be able to attack thank you for watching the video if you want to get my entire defensive ebook on this defense join the patreon link's gonna be down in the description below and uh, I, I think the patreon is the best way to get better at madden only 10 bucks get you access to all the ebooks all the updates everything so head down to the description and go check out the patreon page